How's it going, everyone? Tim here, TRD Adventures. Hope everyone's on Walter. As always, thanks for tuning in. Much, much appreciated. So, thanks to Mother Nature with a, an entire weekend full of rain, and now this weekend full of cold, and I believe it is now snowing outside. Fortunately, with all that weather, not out getting a whole lot of crawling in, but gives us plenty of time to get some builds going, and we do have quite a few things to get through so first up on the deck here is one that um, just got all the final pieces so we are going to be working on today a brazen hilo 6x6 chassis this has um, just recently came out here within the last few weeks or so check in on monday nights uh, to the brazen scale um, rc youtube channel they do go live um, and they share quite a bit of products that they're working on prototyping and sending out and stuff like that. So I um, was definitely excited when uh, they started showing this off. So I was like, you know what? It's been a while since I did a six by six. So let's go ahead and get one going. So real quick, we'll go over all the parts list and everything I got here. And, th and then we'll start throwing everything together. So again, first up, high low chassis there in uh, nice aluminum. And then we are going to be basing this build off um, F10 uh, straight axles. We have the front steering axle and just two simple straight axles for the rear for now. Um, I probably will eventually go six wheel steer, uh, but for right now, this is what I had. I feel I had enough extra axles for all that. So got all that going. And biggest thing to make everything possible is a link kit for the Brazen 6x6. Um, Hardcore RC does have that. If you go into the um, Brazen High Low link section and Hardcore RC, and then at the, you select your wheelbases and all that stuff and your axles and at the very bottom, It'll have a section to click if you want to add uh, rear links for the 6x6 chassis. So simply click that and you'll get all your links ready to rock and roll. And so then with the axles, we will also be putting on some uh, 90 millimeter uh, in the works big bores on there. Because uh, I had just enough extra sitting around getting everything rolling. And for the center here, we are going to be using the XO Trekker skid and also the XO Alpinus transmission. And specifically choosing the Alpinus transmission for its dual outputs, even though one's no overdrive and then one is 28% overdrive, I wanted the two outputs because as you can see, F10 axles, I'm not no pass through axles. So hopefully it's going to work. So first up, let's get everything bolted together and up on the wheels, and then we'll get into getting all the drivetrain and everything connected, and we'll touch on electronics once everything's together. So uh, let me get well, to work. It's together and that went relatively easy and my plan and idea uh, worked really good. So I was super happy with that. So um, here is the Brazen High Low 6x6. So honestly, I think what made this suit go together super easy was the links, especially with that rear axle getting everything and that spacing. That second and third axle spacing is just on point. Uh, not too close and you know, not super far away. These are the new uh, Proline uh, treps uh, 1.9 but they're 4.9 inches tall so these are a taller uh, 1.9 tire and still plenty of room so honestly I mean if you really want to it would be a little close but you could probably squeeze some like cut shut two twos in here or something like that so um, definitely plenty of room there and everything there looks good now at this point everything's at least ready to um, take it out and drive and then do tuning from there move some shock towers and stuff around uh, as soon as it uh, warms up Last little bit here I have uh, to finish up is the body and we'll touch base on that here in just a second. But real quick, we'll just do, you know, a quick kind of recap on how everything went together. So again, base, we have the Brazen uh, Hilo 6x6 chassis. And then for skid and transmission, we're using the XORC uh, Trekker skid as well as the XORC Alpinus transmission. And we are Vanquish uh, F10 uh, straight axle based. And since it is a high low, there's not a chassis mount servo option. So we are going um, axle on servo or axle behind servo here um, with the uh, Boko RC uh, mount from 110th RC. I've used a ton of those mounts um, on my servo uh, on some F10 builds, rather be straight axle or portals. And that mount always worked really good, goes in nice and smooth, and has a good amount of clearance. I did put a little spacer uh, just um, underneath where the servo goes into the spacer just to give it you know just a little more room uh, right under here mostly so i wanted everything to set flush when you're looking at it so that servo isn't uh necessarily a hang down point or anything like that and came out really really good there uh shocks again like i mentioned we have 90 millimeter in the works big bore shocks the big thing on the 6x6 is of course that rear axle so 
like previous as um previous six by six builds i did was either a trx6 or the axle and that middle axle was a pass-through i did not want to deal with the pass-through axle uh, this time around and plus that pass-through when you have the drive shafts and everything you can get some twists and some stuff that you don't want it to do it doesn't react the way you want it to react so i wanted to make sure both of them are, were individual so my main thing with the exo transmission is it has the dual output so i can run one output straight from the transmission to the middle axle and call it good and then i take the other output which is 28 percent overdrive and i run that up here to a carrier bearing this is the um rhino es rhino crawler um carrier bearing i think i got on amazon it's like 12 bucks or something like that um i got it for another build never ended up happening but then i was like this is going to work out perfect so from the output to the carrier bearing and from carrier bearing to the rear axle um, and that was all good with three cut the length drive shafts there in the rear really made everything good and then the front i had a spare incision drive shaft that actually fit up perfect i had just enough spacing for that so that was the really tricky part on getting the six by sixes getting that drive line and everything moving and working correctly as it should and it worked really good um, and talked with a couple other guys and this was the main consensus that a lot of us are going this route on the six by six here is running it to a carry bearing and then to the rear axle, which is also already a very popular idea uh, for the six by six. I've just never messed with that. So I'm really glad it went really smooth and I definitely see why that is a preferred method um, that people are using there. And your key there is having a transmission that has a dual output. That is the, you know, the base assembly and everything like that. And then uh, back to wheels and tires again, like I mentioned, um, all six tires are the new Proline uh, Treps uh, 1.9. And then wheels are the Shift RC 1.9 Mavericks um, in the splash anodized color, that pink and uh, blue there. These wheels just look great. And they do have enough clearance and everything there. I do have some brass here. Uh, brass knuckles there on the front axle and they clear everything really good and then uh, electronics here of course here in the front we do have a three bills rc uh, g13 pro servo and then for motor we're running the 2000 kv um, black jacket motor which is a censored out runner but we're not running it in sensor we're just running it uncensored and we are running that um, with the uh, Holmes uh, Crawlmaster v3 uh, esc so, so everything's nice and quiet and kind of peaceful when you're crawling and that it's it it's ready to rock and roll and there it is that last little bit the last thing i have here to do is make up my mind on the body so right here i do have a land cruiser half cab uh, mounted up and actually it looks pretty good um, i do like the look of the land cruiser cab and now it's figuring out what to do here in the rear do i do some type of cage or do i just make kind of a generic you know go grab some wood make a generic flatbed something like that so um, still a little bit of work to do, finish up the body, obviously get it painted, uh, and then figure out something here in the rear half. Um, also, I mean, I've been getting, going through a couple other bodies, seeing how they lay up on here. Um, maybe it's something like I might grab two bodies and then preferably a truck bed so I can cut the end of one truck bed off and cut the whole truck bed off another and just have a really long truck bed. So haven't quite made up my mind on which body I'm going to go with a hundred percent, but we will see that there um, in the next video. Unfortunately, this video is just short and this is just a build. Um, I just wanted to kind of get it up and get it posted. And then uh, we'll get a crawling video. Um, we'll actually see it out and about and with some crawling um, here in the next video. Uh, Mother Nature is not cooperating right now. Um, like I mentioned earlier in the video, a full previous weekend or two of rain. And now it is currently snowing outside um, and dropping down to low teens right now. So I'm not going out and crawling. Hopefully next week, uh, hopefully here this next weekend looks a little warmer, you know, nice uh, 40 degrees. So shorts and tank top weather. So hopefully next weekend we'll be able to get out um, and get this thing on the rocks. So uh, in the meantime, I hope you did enjoy the video. Uh, if you did hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will have everything that I've used here in this build uh, linked down in the description below. So until next time, everyone have a great one. Crawl on.